Alright guys, welcome to level 4 of Tomb Raider 2. This level's called Opera House. As you can see, we got a swinging block here, which you do not want to get hit by. It will do significant damage. So I'm going to first jump over here, and I'm going to pull out my pistols, because there's going to be a gunman down below. Oh yeah, he's there. I'd rather get him from up here, because once I jump in the water, or go down there, it'll be real easy for him to shoot me. So it looks like I killed him. I'm going to jump down into the water to save damage. I could have just dropped down, but I'd probably take fall damage if I did that. So I'm going to come up here and see what he left for me. Sure enough, he left us some automatic clips. Nice. Alright. Um, up there is where we want to get to. Um, we're not going to be able to get there yet because we need a key. But where we're going to go first is over here, and there's going to be a ladder that we need to climb up. first do is drop down onto this ledge and there's a ledge up above we need to jump onto we're gonna carefully walk to the edge you do not want Laura to go off then I'm gonna do a straight-up jump press action grab that and we're gonna climb up and to the left is a switch which is gonna open something so it opened a door with a key and that's probably the key we need to enter the opera house. In case you guys are wondering, uh, there's nothing over here. Or, well, there is a door, but uh, it doesn't open from this side. We come out of that door later on. Alright, so what we're going to do is climb up the rest of the way. And now I'm going to do a backflip. That was a close one, a little further, and she would have uh, gone into the water, which would have delayed me at finishing the level. Alright, so there's a platform across. I'm going to do a running jump. I'm going to save my game in case I end up uh, falling into the water. Alright. So we're going to do a running jump. Ooh. Alright, so I'm gonna look. There's a platform over there. I'm gonna do my running jump. Alright, so what I'm gonna do for this one, because this is a long jump, I'm gonna stand at the edge, back up, run forward, jump, action button, grab. But I'm gonna shimmy to the right, because I don't want to get hit by that swinging block. We are right back to where we started, but this time we have something essential. So the hole I need to jump into is right over there. Uh, there's going to be a couple of thugs when I get in, so I'm going to pull out my automatics. What a cheapskate. He left us nothing. wonder if there's something back here. Nope, nothing. You would think in a little hidden area like that they'd give you something, but nope. And here's our key. Once I get up here, another guy is going to spawn. And he's going to leave us a small med pack. Uh -huh. And then we're going to go right back up to where we started. And we get to be there for time three now.
Whoa. All right, so now we want to go over here. I'm going to save my game again because I do not want to have to go back through that. So we're going to jump to this platform here. All right, so we're going to hang from the edge, shimmy to the right. If she climbs up onto this platform, she's going to slide off. So if you can see there's a ledge down below me, what we want to do is drop, hold action, and we'll grab the next ledge. We need to shoot this open. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but that floor's got shards of broken glass on it. And if we uh, drop on it, it will be an instant death. If we run through it, we will take damage. But what we can do is carefully walk through this. And then there's a ladder that we need to climb up. There's where we started. So over here is where we're going to use our key. Ornate key. And that opens the door. So we're going to go up this set of stairs. Um, yeah, we don't want to go over that because then we're going to slide down and go right back to where we started. So we're going to want to climb up this ladder. So it looks like this building, our opera house, is under construction. So those tiles over there, those are going to break when I jump on them. So what I'm going to do is back up and then I'm gonna do a running jump keep running run press action and grab that ledge and we're gonna climb up this ledge so I'm gonna save my game again because I don't want to do that Once we turn this corner, uh, some thugs and Dobermans are going to show up. So, whoa, that guy's got a gun, so we want to back up. I'm going to do a jump. We want to take care of the gunman first, because he's the most dangerous. Those Dobermans, I'm not sure if... I don't think they can get me from here. Alright. So, if you can see... Whoa! I forgot there's another one. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go ahead and take a small med pack. I don't know where that guy is. I. He's hurting me, but I don't see him. Looks like this guy left me some automatics. And then the asshole with the club gave me a, a large med pack. Whoa! Whoa, dude. Don't shoot me. Oh wow, there's two gunmen. Take another small med pack. Well, this guy was kind enough to have a small med pack, and looks like this guy's got some shotgun shells. All right. So I can go ahead and show you guys uh, where one of our secrets is. Um, there's a, a dome here. We don't want to fall down there. There's some broken glass. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Alright. So what you want to do is tap backwards. And then hold the action button after you pass the edge. And then you're going to drop down here. 
to where we have uh, this thing to pick up some uh, Uzi ammo it looks like and then when we walk over here we see the Jade Dragon and then you can pull that switch there which will open up the Opera House um, but I'm not gonna take that route I'm gonna do things the long way because I'd miss a lot of stuff and I wanna show you guys the complete level so I'm gonna go ahead and load my game alright guys so now what we wanna do is jump up onto this dome wherever we can and we want to go to where that swinging block is but we do not want to get hit by that I right, took a little damage from it but not too bad alright so we're gonna to want to drop down here I'm gonna light a flare to make this a little easier And here's our switch. That should open up the hatch. And then we're gonna spawn a guy. Then I'm gonna get out my automatics. Looks like she's aiming at him. Looks like I kill them both. I'm gonna check for what goodies they have. Come on. Another guy with nothing. But this guy's got some shotgun shells and some flares. We could use some of those. Alright, I'm gonna save my game. And then this trapdoor is going to take us to the control room where I guess they do lighting, projection, other stuff. Alright, so we got two switches here. We can play around with these. That one did something. Hopefully something good. This is the one that's going to open the door next to me. So, what I want to do is drop down. Now, if you can look over there, uh, a boulder is going to calm down, so when I run this way, a boulder is going to spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and hug the left wall and avoid that. And then I'm going to pull this switch. That's going to close the door, but we want it to be closed, because by it being close to the control room, uh, we have access to the theater. I guess it's like a two-door street or whatever you want to call it. Now if you can see there's a sandbag there. If you go under that it's gonna fall so We want to take care of this guy, make sure to hug his rear, so that way he can't shoot you. Uh -huh. Alright, so there are different ways we can go. We can look over, over there, that's part of how we get down. Um, I'm going to first check out this way. And then uh, a couple of Dobermans are going to spawn when you get over here. I'm going to pick up my flare again, because these things are quite valuable. No. So later on we're going to pick up like some kind of circuit breaker that goes there. Um, we can look over here and it seems to be a dead end. So what we'll do first is tap this switch. And 
and that it looks like it brought up the elevator but we're still not able to get in there let me go ahead and save again What do you know? Another guy spawns with that door. Oh crap. So I'm gonna take a small med pack now. Then I'm gonna make sure to have my guns out. And actually, I'm gonna switch to the Uzis, because it looks like I got more ammo, and these Uzis are really kick ass, so. I'm gonna come up here, a couple of the guys are gonna spawn, well, one guy with a gun, and then a Doberman is gonna come out. So take care of them. And then we light a flare. Looks like this room is worthless. Uh, the only thing in that room for me is a gunman and a Doberman. So that sucks. Alright. I'm gonna take a small med pack. And then what I'm gonna do is equip myself with Uzis. Because when we get over here, when we step on this next tile, the doors are gonna open, and then uh, we're gonna spawn a Doberman and a Gunman. And they're both quite deadly, so... Um, there's really nothing in this room, you know, except two things you want to watch out for. This room is pretty much empty, so I don't think we do anything in there. So what I'm going to show you guys next is how to get down. You cannot drop down because the fall will kill her. So what I can do is uh, run over that corner. I think that might be a little glitchy. Um, there's a ledge here that I can drop down onto. And then there's a there's a Doberman, and then there's some thug with a crowbar or whatever that that is. So we're gonna take care of them. Oh, nice. Whoa. Alright, so I'm having to try to remember this again. I think first, what we want to do is climb up here so we can do a straight up jump. We want to back up a little bit. I think it's not on this level, but maybe the next one. So what Laura can do if she wants to, to jump to ledge, she can tilt herself a little bit. And then she can press the, the, the jump and action button. Whoa, whoa, dude. Killed him. So now when we moved up the elevator, we created accessibility here. this pool of water. So there's a rat. We want to take care of him. Alright. And for some odd reason, these Venice levels just love those rats. Oh man, another gunman. I'm gonna take care of him.
so it Oh, another Doberman. So we're going to want to break that glass. I guess down here is like a fashion room. Where we try things on or whatever. In this room, we have a movable block, and um, at some point, we're going to move that block uh, to access something. Oh, actually, I remember this now. I think um, you move one block in order to create a tile space for another block. I think... So I'm going to come over here and pull this switch. I'm going to save my game because this next part's a little risky. So if we look, there's a fan, so when we slide down this, we're going to want to jump before we get to the bottom. So there's our fan, and we have our first key here, which I think I know where this goes to. So, we're going to jump up here. And then we're going to look this way. Yeah, sorry, that was by accident. We're going to look this way. And then if you can see, we're going to slide down there and we want to jump to that ledge. So what I'm going to do is a forward jump. And then we need to act quickly. Jump. And then we land in here. What's up with all the rats? Now, because this next part is quite treacherous, I'm going to go ahead and save again, because I don't want to have to go back through that. Alright, guys. What we're going to do first is a forward jump. Uh, you guys might be thinking that to uh, get up to that next leg, we should jump forward and press action. No. If she does that, the fan will chop her up, so we want to turn the other way, and then do a backflip, and she'll land on the edge above her. We'll repeat it, but what we need to do first is step forward to make sure we're on the edge. Um, because if we backflip too close to the fan, uh, she'll end up going into the fan and be chopped up, so we want to make sure we're at the ledge, and then we're going to do a backflip and get up here. Now you can see there's a little passageway up there, and then there's our standard way. We could just go that way. Um, however, I want to go up here first because uh, this is where we find the Jade Dragon. And you got to be careful. We're going to walk up to it because we do not want to get chopped up by that fan. Wonderful. So then what we're going to do is run forward and she'll land safely there. I don't know if you, know if you guys can see, there's a movable block here. I'm going to press action and then move this. And then we access a switch. That's going to open our door. Now what we want to do, yeah, I can hear a guy up above. I'm going to go ahead and see if there's a place where I can get him. Come on, man. Oh, well, he can't shoot me, so... You see, there's that movable block that I was telling you guys about, and then there's this one. And what we want to do is move this block into place to create a tile space for that other block to be pushed on.
gonna go ahead and push it there. Then we're gonna move our second bo box or block or whatever it is. I'm gonna say it's a box. The parts of the game where you push the uh, blocks are so time consuming. Since that guy just has a bat, I'm going to go ahead and use my standard set of pistols, because I don't want to waste too many good bullets. And with our standard pistols, we have unlimited shots. He should be right around here. I'm going to go ahead and save. Alright, guys. So, if you can see, we've got our Ornit key. Um, there's where the elevator is. Alright, so we're going to climb back up here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where the Ornit key goes. And I could use it now, but there's still uh, a circuit that I have to get first. So, um, the Ornit key goes here, and I could use it, but there's still something else that I have to do first. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Alright, guys. So what I'm going to do to get down there... It's back up, hang from the ledge, drop down, because if we don't hang from the ledge and we just run off, we're going to take fall damage. So over here is the theater. We want to jump onto this uh, block where it's shallow enough to climb up. And then I'm going to equip my shotgun, because we're going to spawn a Doberman, and then we're going to spawn a gunman from behind. And you want to be mindful of the sandbags, because those will kill you. All right. So there's two ways. There's the left and the right. Um, over here is another sandbag, which we want to be very mindful of. Yep, there it went. So over here is where we pull our switch. Make sure we're aligned to it, so we're going to pull it. And then we open up a door to the ceiling, um, or the second level floor, into the next room, so that should be really helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And I'm going to pull out my shotgun, because when I come up here, we're going to spawn two thugs with the clubs. Nothing. Alright, so there's a couple of sandbags. I'm going to go ahead and set these off now. Alright, and there's another one over here. I'm going to go ahead and set it off. There we go, it looks like... Oh, that guy did leave a large med pack after all. I guess we gotta give him some credibility. So we're gonna jump up, uh, pull ourselves up onto this edge, be very careful of that uh, broken glass. Alright, so there's like a, a drawbridge type of door that we gotta lower down. So, I don't know if you guys can see that uh, ledge space th there. We wanna... Um, get to a point where it's kind of low. So what I'm going to do is back up, running jump, and then press action to grab onto that. We're going to shimmy to the left, as you probably know. And when we get over here, I'm going to climb back up. And we're going to access a switch. This switch should lower that uh, drawbridge door.
like that music. It's so calming. So there's a ledge over here that we need to jump to. Fight another rat. So now I'm gonna take a med pack and, and then save my game again because uh, this part looks pretty treacherous. So with the sandbags, what you want to do is time this just right. You want to time it to where when the sandbag is on Laura's side, you start running for your jump, which would be right about now. And there you avoid it. So now we'll repeat the process and do it again. Then we're going to pull the switch, which will open a trap door down below. Be mindful of the sandbags, because those will be instant death. You want to hang from the ledge, because if she fell, she would take significant damage. We had to take slight damage just from um, hanging from the ledge. So now we're going to come over here and drop into a pool of water. And we're going to go this way. That way there is our way out, but we have things that we want. We want to get our second secret, and we want to get a circuit breaker. I'm going to light a flare to make this a little bit more visible for you guys, and for myself. So here's our switch. Um, this is going to open up a, a door to some of the stage rooms or whatever. And then uh, there's a little crawl space here that you swim through, and that's going to be our stone dragon. So now we just got to get out of here. way. We're not able to come back out the trap door we came into, so we're going to have to swim this way. Here's the circuit breaker. So now what we want to do is jump back up onto the top floor. We're not going to use the Ornit key yet, there's still uh, something we have to do. I mentioned to you guys that there was the circuit breaker control over here. So when we put this in, we don't want to use our Ornit key, we want to use our relay box. And that's going to open up these doors. Whoa. And then it's going to go down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and position myself just right because our third secret's over there. I'm going to save in case I mess this up. So we want to jump, press action. Yeah. Whoa. I almost let go of it too soon. Alright, so we want to climb up this. And we want to grab the uh, golden dragon, and we should be rewarded with some ammo, which is some Uzi clips. And then we can pull this switch. And that hopefully opens something good. And here we got more Uzi ammo. Uh -huh. Now that we have our Uzi clips, we're going to go ahead and go back. We need to walk very careful through these spikes. And it looks like our elevator took off. So 
we're gonna pull the switch and wait for it. Yep, it's coming. Alright, so I think we need to pull the switch again. But once we pull it, we need to get on the elevator really fast. There it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and get my shotgun out. Here, let me see. Oh, no, actually, I'm gonna use Uzis this time. These will come in handy. Because we are gonna fight some enemies when we get down here. Whoa. Whoa, that guy did some major damage. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this room. This is like right below where we were earlier. If you remember us jumping across those breakable tiles, um, at, at a much earlier part in the level, we uh, were up there. And now, we're down below. If there was a cheat code to where Laura would never die from fall damage, you could have just dropped down here. Skipped ahead. Didn't need to do that just yet. Or maybe we did. Because then we opened up this pool of water. And down here... I believe this is where we get to our circuit breaker. So now, let's look around a little bit. Oh man. Here's our lever. If you've got aquaphobia, this could be a little intense for you. I'm gonna come up here, get some air. I guess this is how we climb back up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take a large mid pack this time, and then I'm gonna save my game because, um,. So when we get up here, we're going to get to where we use our Ornit key. Another Ornit key, how nice. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the same room that we were in to start off. So uh, part of me was thinking... As you can see, that opened um, it opened the door to the control room, but it closed the door to the theater. But uh, we want access to the control room to put in our circuit board. Okay. 
So now we want to drop down to avoid fall damage. And we've lifted the curtain off the theater stage. Now as you can see, there's some thug with a gun over there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Uzis. I'm going to be sure to hang from the ledge because I don't want to take damage. I'm going to see how many hits I can land on him over here. That took care of him. Now there's another sandbag over here, so let's see if I can... All right, now a couple of guys with uh, clubs are going to spawn in here, so I'm going to take care of them. And then there's a Doberman. All right, this guy's got a small med pack. And let's see. Oh, there's a glitch. I guess I can't get to whatever he had. So let's see. There's a movable block over here. Um, the fact that this is the only block that's the equivalent of a tile size, that should signal that this block is what's movable. There's no way in hell a person could ever really move a box that size unless it's just completely empty. Maybe made of cardboard. Alright, so here's the switch. And that switch hopefully did something good. Hmm. Looks like it opened something up. I'm gonna get up my flare. There's a sandbag, we want to be careful of that. There we go. Alright, so I think um, we're now going to go over here. So there's a, a door above us, and then there's something down below. I'm going to take the low path first. Okay, so that's a door that we open up, so. Uh, I'm going to take the higher route first. I'm going to see if I can backflip, do my little trick. Alright, now there's a swinging sandbag. We want to be careful of that. I'm going to save. Alright guys, we're going to pull this switch. And then we're going to open that door. With that swinging sandbag, we want to time this just right, so I'm going to hug the left wall, back up, Running jump, I'm gonna running jump now. And I'm gonna get out my Uzis because when we drop down, we're gonna fight this mini boss. And then there's gonna be two Dobermans that we have to also take care of. This guy with the double shotgun is deadly, so um, we're gonna get a big reward after we finish him off. But man, having to fight him and these two Dobermans at the same time is a really dangerous combination. Oh, how nice, a glitch. We ended up up here when we shouldn't have. Whoa! I didn't need it. Man, I took some damage on this fight. 
And I forgot that after we took out Mr. Miniboss, we'd spawn a regular enemy. Oh, and look, he had some grenades, too. Alright, so now... I think we got a little obstacle course we have to go through. Save. Alright, and there's a switch we have to get to over there. So I'm going to go this way because I don't want to be hit by that swing block. And. Here's our switch over there. I believe that's going to open up that door on the lower route. Or it'll open up a door that I believe is over here. Oh no, there's a guy with a gun. I'm going to get out my... Uzi ammo it looks like. Alright, so this should be the path to the end of the level once we get on this plane. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to my next video. Stay awesome.